Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be sharing with you a few of my favorite things. These are products that I have been using, that I have been enjoying, and thought I would share those with you. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I want to talk to you about is this product here. And this is a new product for me that I ordered during the um, Black Friday, Cyber Monday sales. And I don't remember if I got this from... Yes, I do remember. This came from Wish Trend. So if you're interested in this product, um, you'll have to go to Wish Trend. I'll try to remember to link it. But anyway, what it is, it's from the brand I'm from. And it's a honey mask and it runs around $38. It is a Korean um, skincare brand and a skincare product. And it looks like this right here. And oh my gosh, I absolutely love love this. This is probably one of the best masks for hydration that I have used in a very long time. Um, it does have 38% honey in it. It's kind of like a, um, a brulee consistency as far as the texture goes. Uh, it's a wash off mask. You do put it on, you leave it on for about 30 minutes or longer if you like. And it really helps to moisturize and hydrate the skin, not just on the surface, but deep inside the layers of the skin. Um, during the time that you have it on, it does not change consistency, so it does not dry out and get crusty. It's going to stay this nice creamy texture for the um, duration of having it on your face. And then when you wash it off, you rinse it off, your face is so soft and how I like to use it is I like to leave just a little bit of the product still on the face and then I massage it into my skin. Oh my gosh, it feels so good and it's not sticky. Um, I like to leave it on for about an hour to really get some really good, good hydration and the smell, it smells like honey. It looks like a honey, almost looks like peanut butter and honey mixed together is what it looks like to me, but I highly recommend it. Um, when I run out of it, I am definitely going to um, replace this product. Very good. Glad I was able to get that in that kit and give it a try. The next product that I want to talk about is from Chanel and I have a couple of blushes that I wanted to um, share with you. First one that I have is this one here, which is um, Burnt Coral, and it is the number three, 390 Burnt Coral. And it looks like this here, and it's one of their new ones that they have, and I'm pretty sure it's a limited edition. Um, the Chanel blushes are $45 a piece, a little on the pricey side, but they're very, very well worth the money. Um, they are buildable, they last all day, and they're very, um, I don't know what the best way to describe. They're not harsh on the skin. I have one on, but not either one of these. I know. I was not prepared to do this video today. But anyway, um, let me give you a little swatch and see if you can see it. It's just a really pretty burnt orange coral, just like it says, which is perfect for fall and winter. I mean, it is so pretty. You can build them up. You can put them on sheer. You can put them on heavy and build up the color. I'll put another swatch on just so that you can see. And there you go. I like using a dual fiber brush when I use my Chanel blushes just so that I can just the first time put a wash of color and then I can keep adding on if I need to. But just a very, very pretty um, color that goes with uh, just about any kind of eye look that you can create. It's very universal. And then the next one that I have is the one that they came out for winter. And I don't know why they picked this color for winter because this looks more like a spring summer color to me. And when you see it, you're going to know what I'm talking about. I mean, look how bright that is. Oh my gosh. And this is number 380, so close. This one you definitely want to use a dual fiber brush um, because if not, you it's going to go on too intense. 
So you definitely want to use a dual fiber brush and then really work to blend it out. But once you do, it actually makes a really pretty blush for this time of year. So I put it on really thick here and then I blended it out here. So just really, really pretty. Just kind of gives a really nice, if you use that dual fiber brush, and the one I use is one from e.l.f. I don't use an expensive one. It would really, really just put a soft, soft hint of color on the skin and it just looks like you've just been out in the cold weather and getting some rosy cheeks but right there but so pretty and it's going to work perfectly and be very pretty going into summer spring and summer also so can't go but wrong with a blush that will work for all seasons the next product I want to talk about is this little guy here, and you would have seen this in my empties, but it is a little um, perfume from Elizabeth and James, and this one in particular is the Bourbon. Oh my gosh, I love, love the Bourbon. Um, it's their Nirvana Bourbon. Um, it's a vanilla bourbon. It has oak wood and tuberose in it. Um, I definitely get a hint of smokiness, and it's just enough smokiness with a hint of sweetness oh, it smells so good and it's perfect for fall and winter of course but um but it's not too heavy you know sometimes you get those perfumes that people say they're really good for um fall and winter because they're more of a heavy perfume this isn't too heavy that it's going to suffocate you or be overwhelming i mean it's yeah, it's a good one, and I always get a ton of compliments when I wear it, and unfortunately, it's gone. I used it all up. Definitely love the bourbon. You can definitely smell that bourbon when you first spray it, and then as it kind of dries down, you get that, that smokiness and that um, tobacco, just a hint of tobacco smell in it, and really have been enjoying that one. The next product I have is actually two products that I have been using and I've been using these um, together. So I'm going to talk about this one first and I had a little baby one of this in my empties and it's the Fresh Seaberry Moisturizing Facial Oil. Um, a full size of this will run about $52. It has um, sea berry, cranberry seed, camellia seed, grape seed, sweet almond oil. Um, it has omegas 3, 6, and 7, which are good for uh, protection from the free radicals that are out there in the air that like to attack our skin and make us age. Um, it absorbs quickly, has a wonderful smell to it. To me, it smells like Thanksgiving, um, like maybe um, sage sage it has a sage smell to it. it almost smells like poultry seasoning to me but anyway that's just me so it just makes me think of thanksgiving so when it's this time of year i really do want to pull this out plus winter need a lot of extra moisturization i have been using this of the morning as my last skincare step before putting on primer and like i said it absorbs quickly into the skin um, it is an oil but it's not one of those oils that sit on top of the skin. Um, just absorbs really, really good. And I like mixing it with this product here, which is from Belief. This is the Cream Aqua Balm. Um, the Belief, the True Cream in the Aqua Balm. This is a little bit lighter version. They have one that's just the... Um, the cream. This one is more of a, a lightweight and it's com it's completely gone. This was in my empties. It's lightweight. It's an oil-free gel type cream and um, it works really well with mixing it with this oil if you need a little bit extra hydration. The Belief is another Korean skincare brand that is really good and a full size of this is $38, which I think is really a good price point considering how well it moisturizes and how well the product is. Some of these companies, they need to really go in and reevaluate the pri their price points on products because the consumers are starting to figure out that you don't have to spend big bucks to get some products that are really good like this here. But um, it just really helps to keep the skin smooth and supple and moisturized. And like I said, if you have um, oily decombination skin, this would probably be 
enough moisturization for you, possibly even to use it as a night cream. For my um, combination dry skin, it's not, so that's why I use it of the morning as my morning moisturizer mixed in with this um, little Seaberry Fresh Moisturizing Oil there. Anyway, so that is it for um, this week's favorites. I hope that you have enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and also to click on the little bell icon so that you're notified of all future videos. I do post on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. So again, thank you so much for joining me today and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.